you can imagine. That's why we call this an active crime scene, because of scenes like this, investigators are still out here early in the morning collecting evidence. Now, if you've been following this story closely, you've likely seen it in clips. This morning, we've assembled most of those clips all together to show you how this unfolded. 6.03 p.m. Eastern, former President Donald Trump takes the stage at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Minutes later, at 6.11 p.m., as Mr. Trump discusses his record on immigration, the first shots ring out. Mr. Trump grabs his right ear before dropping to the ground as more rounds are fired. People in the crowd begin to scream. Multiple agents pile on top of the president to shield him from the gunfire. Their tense dialogue picked up on nearby microphones. Are you ready? On you. Ready? Move. Seconds later, armed officers rush on stage in front of the podium. As word arrives, the shooter is down less than a minute after the first shot. Shooter's down. Are we good to move? p.m. Agents surround the former president as he is lifted back to his feet and overheard asking if he can get his shoes. 6.13, Mr. Trump's bloody face visible through a wall of Secret Service agents as he lifts a fist in the air, mouthing the word, fight, over and over again. As he's helped down the stairs and rushed into a waiting SUV surrounded by armed police. The FBI now looking into the moments leading up to the shooting, including reports that witnesses saw the shooter on a nearby roof outside the rally perimeter before shots were fired. I am aware that uh, law enforcement had responded to a number of reports of suspicious activity. Um, the specific response to this will be all part of the after action. But yes, law enforcement was responding uh, to check on several suspicious occurrences. This frantic cell phone video of Appears to capture those terrifying moments right before the president was shot. He's going down! Federal authorities now combing through this footage as they try to figure out this morning how could this have happened. There is one question um, I do want to ask, and this is just me um, using my observation. Uh, if you look at all of the maps, and there's quite a few different maps we can study and look at. Uh, the line of fire, which is a description they use with regards if anybody has a direct line on the target. Uh, why wasn't the line of fire, um, I don't know, maybe a vicinity of a mile or two miles? What is the normal uh, situation? Uh, is it down to resources? When a candidate does a rally or a public uh, appearance, who pays for the protection? If because I'm a Brit from the outside looking in, but there's also a lot of other people who love these questions answered. If you could, if you have any knowledge of this in the comment section. So, is there hey, a USA! USA! Required? If you do a private event like a concert or something at a football stadium, uh, I don't know. We heard gunshots. Uh, I don't know. Trump is standing. Trump is standing. Uh, to give you another example of the line of fire. So, Guys, just undo the undo the gate. Uh, the just lift this left this right side. Uh, to Come on. Get out of here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, during any level of uh, important uh, enemy attack in there, you will find. Guys, uh, take the road. Uh, take the road. On guard, who are I would say almost within a total mile. Yeah. Nick, <laughs> Stephen, uh, Marvin. Protected. Guys, keep running. So this isn't a situation now for finger pointing. This is just something that's slightly disappointing. Did they just did they hit him? Did he get hit? No. I think I think there's something. He was standing. He was standing at the end. Democrats can't shoot. Bro, I called it. They were gonna. Is there more shit? I don't know. Did he really? Fuck. Yeah. You see the forklift go down or no? Yeah. I'm right here. 
I don't know. I don't know. I saw him standing after when though the cheering was going on. Well, he was up. He was standing. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was like five shots, bro. What the fuck was happening? Like two on the other side. He was on one Look on BBC. Uh, it's, I'm watching the uh, thing go crazy because they're saying the Republican Party has. Bro, he's wounded. They got him. 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 needs to be cooled down. Maybe this is an opportunity for that to happen. Perimeter on top of a building about 150 yards away. That's not too far away. Should that have been a focus of security ahead of this rally? So we'll find all of that out, but I guarantee, I know the Secret Service will be asking those questions as well as the FBI to figure out uh, what happened because they need to, to answer all of those questions on why there was a line of sight vulnerability and they need those answers quickly because there may need, need to be a change in protocol, um, especially before, ahead of those conventions. So it's important to understand how the threat materialized and um, how they can stop it potentially moving forward. Um, so President Trump, uh, the former president of the United States of America, has released a statement, which I shall read to you. Uh, I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all of law enforcement for their rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. Uh, most importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. It is incredible that such an act can take place in our country Nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is now dead. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong in that I heard a whizzing sound, shot and immediately felt the bullet ripping through their skin. Much bleeding took place, so I realised then what was happening. God bless America. That is a statement from um, the former president of the United States of America who has been what it is in my mind uh, it's not officially been called it but i'll call it as i see it um an assassination attempt if by all the agencies in the federal government as a situation based on what we know now i have tried to get a hold of donald uh he's with his doctors uh they apparently he's doing well i plan on talking to them shortly i hope when i get back to the uh, telephone look there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot 
be like this. We cannot condone this. And so, and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who, and we have more detail to come relative to other injured, other people maybe injured in the audience. I don't have all that detail. We'll make that available to you. I may be able to come back a little later tonight, but we'll put out a statement if we don't, if I'm not able to give it, if, if it's not convenient for you all. But the bottom line is, the, the Trump rally was a rally that he should have been able to can be conducted peacefully and without any problem. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. And we, everybody, everybody must condemn it. Everybody. I'll keep you informed. And if I am able to speak to, the, to Donald, I'll, I'll let you know that as well. But so far, it appears he's doing well. Number one, number two, that they're thoroughly investigating what happened to anyone else in the audience. I have we have some reports, but not final reports. And every agency in the federal government, I'll be, and I'm going back to, to my phone to speak with the federal agencies that are being put together again to give me an updated briefing. Has anything happened? They learned more in the last couple hours. So thank you very much, and I hope I get to speak to him tonight, and I'll get to back to you if I do. Okay. Assassination I don't know enough to I, I, have, I, have an, I have an opinion, but I don't have any facts. So I want to make sure we have all the facts before I make some comment any more comment.